Now, the stock market's rally off its March low has pushed the S&P 500 up some 60 percent. But also on the rise is the use of margin loans to buy shares. So we head over now to our markets desk and our very own markets reporter, Sheila Dharmarajan, for all the numbers on these margin loans. And Sheila, we're talking about some pretty big numbers, aren't we? We are. We are seeing this use of margin debt on the rise. Now, remember, margin is when traders borrow money from their brokers to increase how much stock they can buy and also boost their returns. So we looked at the outstanding margin debt for New York Stock Exchange members. And when you look at the number in February of 07, so pretty close to those March lows, it was about $173 billion. And the latest numbers that we have is from August of 2009, and that's already up to $207 billion. So that's a 20 percent increase in mm. just six months. And, you know, you can also see the same trends when you start to look at the online brokerages. So, for example, TD Ameritrade, 45 percent increase in margin debt in quarter over quarter, and Charles Schwab, also a 20 percent increase. So investors are starting to pile on the debt to buy more stock and boost their returns. And it makes sense because borrowing costs are pretty low right now. But but is this a worrying development, more people using debt to buy stocks? Right. Credit got us in this mess. Is this rise of credit a big issue? Well, you know, we talked to trading veterans about that. And the answer is no. You know, Bruce Forrester, he's from South Beach Capital Markets. He actually thinks it's a pretty good sign. He thinks, you know, that as investors take on more risk and take on more debt, they're gaining more confidence in the market. Mm. Things are returning to normal. So it's not very worrying quite yet. And to give you some perspective on why it's not worrying, you know, we looked at the numbers going back historically. And if you look at July 2007, so now this is the peak of the market, sure. that margin data today was $371 billion. And remember, in August of this year, it was only $207 billion. So there's still a ways to go before we start to hit those worry levels. But we don't want to get up to those levels yet again, do we? No, I mean, you know, that's the big flag that we have to look at. Right now, those levels are creeping up a little bit, but not quite at the point where people are worrying. All right. Thank you so much. Sheila Dharmarajan for us on margin loans.